Richard Walker of Draft Express here with Latavius Williams of the Oklahoma City Thunder and currently on loan to the Tulsa 66ers. How are you doing, Latavius? Doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Um, so last time we checked with you officially, it was a showcase actually last year of the Idaho Stampede out uh, in the Idaho. Um, uh, what a difference a year makes. Uh, how's your year been? Yeah, been pretty good. We've been um, we've been having a good season. Been winning a lot of games, lost a couple, but still getting it together. I would think that your life though has changed quite a bit. I mean, you got drafted and all that. Yeah, got drafted and um, got sent back down here to, to Oklahoma. I'm, I'm used to the to the system and stuff, so it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, unofficially, like we were just talking about off the air, last time we talked was uh, in Vegas. Uh, you were working with uh, future NBA players like Devin E. Banks, Avery Bradley, uh, Lance Stevenson, guys like that. Uh, what were you working on in Vegas? I'm um, just working on my jump shot and just playing against a lot of good guys. You were drafted 48th overall by Miami and then immediately traded to Oklahoma. So you got to think that they liked you. Yeah, they do. They do. I didn't get a chance to watch it. I was asleep. But you slept through the draft? Yeah, I had fell asleep. I was tired that day. Did you uh, Did you uh, know you were going to get drafted? Um, no, not really. Not really. But you were still so unconcerned you just said, I'll take a nap. Yeah, I was tired, so I, I just fell asleep on it. Well, they watched you all year last year. Did you even do an official workout with them? Um, yeah, I, I did at the end of the at the end of the summer, like the end of the um, draft. I did. Did you uh, work out for any other teams? Yeah, a lot, like 16 teams. Wow. Uh, you were the first player to skip college and go straight to the D League and then actually get drafted. Do you have any advice for future draftees? Like uh, I know Jameen Peterson is the only draft eligible player this year for the Thunderbirds. Do you have any advice for the the process that to go through to get into the draft? Man, it's gonna be a long. It, it's just gonna be a long, hard process. You just gotta gotta get through it. But when you once you get through it, you'll be all right. Would you advocate the D League then for other high school players as an option? Um, it, it just depends on you. It's on what you want to do and how you feel about it. Like everybody got their they own opinions. Well, that, that's a, that brings up a good question because Jeremy Tyler was another high school player, and he went to Europe. He's playing. It, he tried to play for Maccabi Haifa. He struggled pretty badly. You went to the D League and you ended up in the NBA draft. I mean, do you think that you made the right decision then? Yeah, I did. I, I, I like it. I can't look back at it. You know, I'm here now, so. Do you, all right. do you think that maybe he should have gone the D-League route? No, nah, he just got to go the route he want to take. So if that was the route he want to take, take it. Well, I mean, now you're an NBA player, so it doesn't quite qualify, but you are having a heck of a D-League season. You've uh, just about doubled your points, and your field goal percentage is about 67%, which is about the top of the league. Uh, do you feel like your offense is coming around? Yeah, it's coming around. It's coming around. I just um, like to get my team involved in the game, and as long as we win, I'm good with it. Well, just like last year, the top of the league and your offensive rebounds and your rebounds per minute is one of the best in the league as well. Is uh, rebounding a focus for you? Um, yeah, I, I just go get them, man. I just go get them. They, they be floating around out there, so I go grab them. Well, that's kind of like your offense in general. I think uh, you're kind of a flurry of activity out there. I, I looked it up. A lot of your offense comes off cuts, comes from offensive rebounding. It comes from hustle and activity. Is that what they're looking for from you? Um, that's just my game. That's what I go out there and do. Coach want me to run and flow, so I do that and crash the board. When we were in Vegas, I, we saw you working quite a bit on your mid-range game. Is that something you're continuing to work on? Yeah, I've been working on it. I got it, but I never I never take the shot. I always drive or something. And why is that? <laughs> I don't know. I just be wanting to get to the goal. Well, I'm bringing it up because I know you do have it. I've seen you do it, and so I just wondered. Um, when are we going to see a fully developed post game? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I got it, but I don't use it too much. I, I usually face up on the, on the block a lot, yeah. but it'll come. It'll come. Last uh, last year um, was your first chance really at pro ball. I know that there was some uh, you had, like had to learn pro offenses. You had to like learn how to do advanced scouting and for other teams, et cetera, et cetera. Do you feel like that stuff's coming easier to you this year? Oh yeah, real easy, real easy. I'm, I'm just walking through it this year. <laughs> How much contact do you have with the actually with Oklahoma City? Do you talk to guys like Brandon Barnett and get feedback on your game? Yeah, and I talk to Paul a lot. He, he texts me and, and tell me some um, some stuff. So it's, it's going good. You think there's a good chance you'll uh, be back in the NBA or get a chance in the NBA this year? Um, hopefully, hope hope so. Me too. Uh, congratulations and good luck. All right. Thanks.